this game is really tiny on my desktop. Uh, it's just in a really, really small square. All I know about this game is that it's made by the same um, person who made Milk Inside a Bag of Milk, Inside a Bag of Milk, and the acclaimed sequel Milk Outside a Bag of Milk, Outside a Bag of Milk. Um, it has overwhelmingly positive reviews, and one of the reviews said it made them cry. So I'm all about it. I don't know anything else about it. <coughs> <coughs> oh god. I started choking. Hopefully that wasn't bad. But um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Hi. I got an achievement. Hello. Oh yeah, when I opened it up, there was like 70 achievements available. So, I don't know what this is, but whatever. Hello. How do we want to say hello? Let's do it with enthusiasm. I got another achievement. Okay, I guess I get <laughs> I can get an achievement for literally everything. That's the spirit. Oh, that's the spirit. No uh no idea why you'd be in such a bad such a mood though. Unlike you, I was just faking it. Although, who knows, maybe you're also trying to deceive me for some reason. What is your problem? To see how I'd react. I don't know. Does freedom of choice mean so little to you? I would want it to be nice. Try being so weird. Right. Usually you can save and load in visual novels. Makes sense then. I didn't... I didn't save. How do I... Yeah, there's no save option. Makes... Makes sense then, it doesn't uh, make any sense here though. Not a single choice you make will affect the story, so relax and enjoy reading along. Alright. Uh, normal hello. An ordinary reply. I got another achievement, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just stop saying I get achievements, because I'm getting like achievement for literally every single thing I do. An ordinary reply, which is usually the best one. After all, not even in a thousand of options will be enough to express your character in a single greeting. Just stay yourself without trying to act out the role of a typical reader. You're still the one I'm talking to, after all. Probably. Uh, what else could you be- who else could you be talking to? You may not even be here in the game, we just left an autoplay. Yeah, there's an option down there, but I like clicking, so. Or you're not the person I've been waiting for. You're waiting for someone. Nonetheless, let's continue. What's going on? Nothing. At all. Still think you're gonna get the promise Yuri Harem without plot. No, I knew this game was gonna be weird. Be honest. <laughs> do you really want it? No. Yeah, I think so too. It's better to do something actually useful. I have to re I don't I don't want to I don't know what to do. What about your hobbies? <laughs> I don't do anything. Don't tell me that you're only a hobby is playing the area game. Never played it. Because I have bad news for you in that case. Alright. Alright, let's act out a small scene. But don't expect anything more. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess we're playing as someone. It's not like I'm playing. There is a person, like, that we're technically playing as. There was no plot here to begin with. And Yuri. There's only plot where there's a girl. Yeah, there's... You're the only girl here. Yuri means, like, a lesbian, if you didn't know. And it's only become a harem if you, she has a female friend with her. Yeah, life is just, is unjust and full of lies. I'll accept it. Just like that. All the better. A uh, raider who's not, pick, who, who's not picky is easy to please. <laughs> Let's go on a date. Hooray! <laughs> really? Are you happy about that going on a date with a... Listen, lady, <laughs> don't don't ask. <laughs> uh, what's up with you? <laughs> what's up with your stupid fucking hair? It's like a, it's like a sickle. It looks like the Pokemon Scyther's arm. I don't know why I remember that. I never played Pokemon. And start, oh, change the background. Uh, it sounded so romantic. You're the only available love interest. What's with this question? Am I not good enough for you? You're being mean to me, so I'm going to be mean to you. If you don't like it, you can go read something else. Stop being mad, this is the only option I had. That's the point. You don't have a choice but upset me and then apologize for it. And I don't care that I'll become an upset. Sorry. Much better. We need to have at least one argument over the course of the story. In other words, a conflict. I can go on a date with you without any problem. But, to be honest, I've been wanting to go on a date more than anyone else. What do you mean, anyone else? 
You're the only one here. Ask out. S oh, what? This would be unfair to ask someone. What? What are all the other heroines doing then? Who cares? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They don't exist while they're off screen. And if you've never met them, they pretty much never existed. <laughs> I'm still getting the achievements, by the way. Are you a yandere? Uh, do you want to <laughs> compress all my character into a single archetype? You're the one being weird, okay? Fine. Uh, that way you won't be able to get it wrong. So yeah. You know, changing my name isn't such a bad idea. Oh, you're actually gonna change your name. I'll also have to dress up for the occasion. Give me a moment, I'll be right back. Hi. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Fucking Miku looking ass. Uh, going on dating games is so convenient. One scene transition and everything is already set up. Yeah. That looks... I don't know what's in it. There's like berries here, but then there's just these two things that I don't know. And everything down here just looks like a mess. Yeah, I like your outfit. Thanks. Diversity is a good thing. Even if changing my outfit doesn't make any sense. With the atmosphere, right. After all, it helps with immersion too. Visual novels are great because they use so many tools to immerse the reader. Text, graphics, music, and even some degree of interactivity. This is the perfect place for a date, and I don't mean the cafe, it's just a backdrop. And here I'll be able to fully express my feelings. But please don't think that you're simply an observer here. Even you nodding along helps me sense the person on the other side of the screen better. Oh wow, I can't really pick anything else. I haven't tried, but I don't think I can click on anything else. So, yeah, I don't want to hit auto or I don't want to hit back. I don't know, I think I'm taking to the main menu. How rude. I'm sorry. It's the only option. Someone breathed their, and someone breathed in their soul into me. It's over since my choices don't matter. No, it only seems that way to you. Why else would there why else would you be present here? By the way, the game has an auto read feature. I know. Just stay here. Are you on a date or what? Let's talk about something else. Ask me personal questions. Hi. What hobbies, preferences? What hobbies? Hmm. I like doing nothing and taking afternoon naps. That's it. What else do you need to be happy? Well, do you have a dream? Of course. I want to become someone's waifu. <laughs> Don't we all? What? <laughs> wasn't it e the achievement was called wasn't even a little bit funny. What? What else am I supposed to strive for when I'm in an arrogant character? Do you expect me to get a PhD without leaving your screen? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are the preferences? I love curious readers. You must be one of them since you picked an option that could be easily skipped. It means you're really into what's going on. I am. Uh, <laughs> the achievement or just an achievement hunter. Man, that, that just made me think of Achievement Hunter, the YouTube channel, and I got sad. <laughs> it means you're, uh, it means you're really into what's going on, or maybe even me too. But even if you're just picking random options, this way we'll end up spending more time together, and that makes me really happy. I was expecting you. Why me? Man, I must have, she must, I must have uh, made her upset because I downloaded this game like a week ago and I haven't played it since then. So she's just been sitting here in a void. <laughs> Why were you so excited? What a silly question. What else should I be expecting in a romance visual novel? I don't know. Alright, alright. We could be in fucking some weird mess. Well, I guess, it's, I guess it is weird, but like it can get like fucked up really quick if you know. <laughs> I'm just already be tired of all these fourth wall breaking jokes. I hope you find at least some of them funny. They're alright. At least some of them funny. All or all of my effort was in vain. Yeah, you're you're okay. Well, here we are. This is where the real deal starts. Do you know why you're reading this right now? I'm interested in the story. And what about me? <laughs> Both of these seem bad. <laughs> so the, I guess this is the nicer one. I haven't doubted that for a moment. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm just having fun. In moments like this, I don't even really care about your replies or pre that your replies are predetermined. You're still here with me after all, and we're having a good time. 
Sure, that makes me a tiny bit happier. Thanks. You look really sad in this pose. <laughs> I just realized she even does have like these little like things like Miku does. Well, I guess those are hair ties. That's like her actual hair. I was gonna say like I like a. There's multiple shows that do it, but like when they draw like the circle, like that weird circle on their eye. I don't know why they do it or what it's called. If it has a name, but I always think it looks cool. You too. Hey <laughs> hey. Uh, well that's oh the music's dying out. Hi. <laughs> do you believe in fate? Whatever happens, the end will ultimately be the same. It can't be changed. It doesn't matter if you know what the means or not. So yeah, our meeting was bound to happen. I couldn't refuse the protagonist's role, and to you, I have no idea what life decisions led to this amateurish project. But since we're here, I guess there was a reason for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> although I'm still not sure if you're the one, and I don't think I can even ascertain that. Just know this, after you appeared, my life got turned upside down. And that happened long before you launched this visual novel. What does that mean? It's simple. We've met in a dream. <laughs> Listen, lady, you weren't any of my dreams, I know that. I think it was, uh, pro prophetic? I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never seen that. A lot of what I saw fits into our current conditions at the same time. It can only predict what's possible outside of the script. Is this slowly zooming into her face, or am I just like... I can't tell. I think it's slowly zooming into her face. <laughs> Are your dreams also pre-written that something's crucial to the scripts? I don't know. Never thought about it. Even if so, what's the point in all of that? Wouldn't it have been not have happened? Are you saying that I'm still following the scripts? Maybe it is fate. You have no choice apart from following the- Oh. And now- Oh. Considered alive anyway. Uh, my duty is to listen to love confessions. Uh, why am I even- What is this? What happened? I don't get it. Good idea. <laughs> Let's do that. It doesn't turn out very romantic and- It didn't turn out romantic and we didn't spend a lot of time here. Uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. If I could, I would have went on another date with you, but... We're close to the ending. Okay, let's get down to business. What do you usually do to reach a happy conclusion for the story? Confess love when we're talking about romantic stories. Yes! Uh, it's not like I'm expecting anything in particular. Uh, but... You know... Varys? Well, I mean, nobody ever told me that before. Me too. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so what? Nope. Not giving you any hints. Oh, it's the only option I have left. Really? Hmm. I can't save, but yeah, sure. Then, will you say it again? Uh, never thought these words could ever make you this happy. Thank you. I'd like to spend more time with you, but... I guess it's time to say goodbye now. I hate farewells. This will be the end of our relationship. We'll never see each other again. If it doesn't happen, I'll be able to feel like I'm in love with you to the very end. That's a lie. But stay silent for a bit. Please don't exit. <laughs> Please. Ah, wait. Uh, don't go. I'm lonely. <laughs> I. Please don't abandon me. I have some. Uh, if the story ends now, I have to be losing all the memories. Uh, uh, I want to live. <laughs> oh, I can't even exit. I have to hit this either to start or option. Oh, the music stopped. That would be weird, but that happened the first time as well. Um, I 
I always do like a test to see if my audio is working and everything, and it did that when I was went into the settings. So that isn't like a, just a weird one, but I can't. There's no exit options. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so you're just back to protagonist. You're closer than last time though. Hello. Ah. Hi. <laughs> Uh, and who are you? I have the same question. <laughs> the name says it all. I'm the protagonist. And the name, and your name doesn't tell me anything. It's not even in the script. It is now. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> What's going on? You don't need to. Who needs the useless extra when the reader has already made their choice? Don't waste your time on greetings. Go away. Is that true? I don't know. No. I mean, we can still be. We can still talk to you. <laughs> Although, why even ask? I don't really have a reason to protest. Good girl. Bleak. Uh. <laughs> it's just like fucking Doki Doki, if they're fighting each other. <laughs> Let's go, Yonder. <laughs> this one will go better, I promise. I'm sorry. I said you can go. If you ever change your mind, I'll never reject you. Uh, bye. <laughs> well, now that we're alone again, we can discuss our next date. Where are we going? I'm a bit sad you won't be able to have fun. It's, it's kind of, yeah, I mean, I guess somebody doesn't want to completely disappear from the story. That's why you keep seeing options that are negative towards me. Please don't pick them anymore. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the confession was something. Of course, sure. It's the only thing I can say. Let's continue. Um, where are we going? <laughs> How about an amusement park? Romantic teen set. It must be the best choice. <laughs> Although I'm not sure this game has enough budget for them. Uh, why not? How about the Ferris wheel? You just said there wasn't a budget. I don't know. It won't have a dedicated background, but you probably have a rich imagination, right? I seen that the Ferris wheel is like icing on the cake. We should leave it for the very end. All right, let's go on a walk first. Oh, it's the same like asset. <laughs> well, this is the place. Ford is food in the foreground. What's wrong? Do you want it? I'll share it with you, but you need a printer for that. <laughs> Reset, uh... Oh, I got an achievement, and if you do happen to own a printer, I wonder, I don't have a printer, but I wonder if you can actually print that out. That'd be really funny. Isn't there anything you want to tell me? You look good, <laughs> but I'm wearing the same clothes. Uh, well, again, seeing a new angle of a character in these games is pretty mon monumental. Doesn't matter, thanks anyway. Alright, we might as well talk about something now. How old are you? What's your star sign? What pants are you wearing? Why don't you get, uh, how old are you? We're old enough to take part in spicy scenes. And if somebody had just broken down your door, I definitely have nothing to do with it. Achievement lock, look into the people. <laughs> uh, what's your real name? Is our relationship already at the point where you don't uh, know everything about me? No way, girl, sh girl should be mysterious. What's your star sign? Pony. Fine, it was a joke. <laughs> what? Uh, it doesn't even matter. It's obviously you'll be, you'll be an ideal match. It's the duty of every area heroine, after all. I don't want to say either of these. Polka dot pattern. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. This pissed person just picked what are you wearing? <laughs> uh, oh, I got like three achievements there. Oh god. Uh, what's with with the sudden okay I got five but Jesus uh, actually you don't have to answer I get it <laughs> she gave up instantly she gave up you so easily uh, I can't stand people like her they're not even worth pity they should just be forgotten whose feelings you hurt with these questions I don't want us to fight over something so trivial I'll pretend like we never talked about this choose again then, shall we go to the Ferris wheel? Sure. Uh, oh yeah, it's back to this thing. 
too bad we won't be able to watch the sunset. Everything in this world is black and white for some reason. It somewhat limits the ability to express emotions visually. You know, like my beat red cheeks at the time of your confession. I wish you could hear it again. Come to think of it, we haven't even started dating. Wanna fix it? What's the point if we're close to the ending? It already happened. As you can see, we're still together because we could get past that point. Which means we'll be able to do it again. And again, and again, and again. <laughs> How many dates we have ahead of us? Sure. <laughs> I'm listening. I want to hear it again. Yes, yeah, back to this. Are you absolutely sure? You want to break? <laughs> This is nice. I'm sorry, I just can't get enough. I feel like I've been living my whole life for this moment. Not quite. I was just existing. Now I finally feel like I'm truly alive. <laughs> if only this moment could last forever. Okay, I think we're good now. Oh, okay. I was expecting to have to leave, but nope. The world is becoming kind of stale. But that's okay. It doesn't matter as long as you love me. As long as I'm sure of it, I can't complain. That's why. Don't stop. And don't you dare stay silent on me. I guess I feel a little bit anxious after all. There's nothing difficult about saying that I love you using different, more flowery language. But that would make your loved one feel that much more special. Given enough time, love confession has turned into something mundane. We stopped caring about them as much as we did at the start of the relationship. In cases like that, confessing in a different form is the best way to prove your love again. Why doesn't anything change? Have your feelings waned? It can't be. Say it different. I can't! I'm sorry, I can't! <laughs> Why are you torturing me? Don't say silent, say something. <laughs> no, not like this. Oh, God. I'm sorry. It may sound whimsical. I'm sorry. Okay, so she's repeating that. Do you hate me? <laughs> Just because I chased her away. If that's the case, then I deserve it. Call her back. What will you do? I'll go take a nap. Forget about me. <laughs> Someone like me has no right to be with you. <laughs> ah! Your wish is enough. Even though I don't quite understand it. Why? Yonder Chan got rejected, huh? And since an arrogant parody, the main goal is still conquering a girl's heart. <laughs> You're still here, and there are no other love interests. Does that mean you want to... Please be gentle. No. That's it. <laughs> you don't know. Those two people want to do on their own, and uh, I never pay attention in biology class, but... Well... <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, I guess... Just like you understand before, I need to go with you. Um. Well. I mean. <laughs> on a day. Yes, that's it. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> it's not like I don't want to. But I also think I don't have the right to refuse. I guess we should change our surroundings. A blank background is not romantic at all. I don't exactly look presentable in this. Well, I mean, what, that was what Yandere was wearing for. I have no idea what outfit would look the best on me, though. A Dondere. I have to look that up. I've heard that, but I don't exactly know what the definition is. Dondere. A Darn uh, is a character who is shy, quiet, timid, and asocial. They are afraid to talk, feeling what they might say will get them in troubles. Okay, so it's just, yeah, that just means they're shy. Alright. 
God, I wonder how many of these are going to be. Who? <laughs> God damn, I didn't even have to look it up. Close off character who only reveals their love self for someone they uh, love. I see. Then I think I understand what an ideal would look for us. A moment, please. I guess. <laughs> Are we just like in the room? Something like this. Is this your room? Yeah. Uh, I hope this place is cozy enough. It looks nice. There's this cup for me. Something wrong. You don't like tea. I mean, I actually don't. Right. You can't even drink it. <laughs> Neither can I. You don't have a frame? I can pretend like I'm drinking it. But I wouldn't feel anything if I, if I don't trick myself. In the end, I can only exist as a mix of text and pictures. <laughs> This tea, my existence, and our date. If you think about it, it's all meaningless. <laughs> and the things are clear when it comes. Okay, what's the point of romancing 2D? Who can be a relationship? What kind of fan service cardboard? <laughs> I can be, could become your attraction. There's nothing where I would be able to become your friend. There's nothing like stopping me from loving you and go forever. This whole story is just one big act of self deceit. Silence. Sorry. <laughs> I'm spewing nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, this is okay. <laughs> it's not even the romantic type. My beauty is to play a part of your future lover. Things that can get in the way of that. It's okay. <laughs> Let's change the topic then. Um, <laughs> what else can we discuss? Uh, tell me about yourself. Um, I like drinking tea. <laughs> Totally useless activity for me. I think the uh, bottom one is the one that like progresses, and these top ones I are the ones that are just like filler. I think I'm not 100% sure. Why do you stutter all the time? Um, I don't know. <laughs> kind of anxious, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of a dick thing to ask. I'm sorry if it's irritating for you. What do you think of Yandere? I can't understand her. Uh, all these conversations are so pointless. I still have no idea why all of this is happening. Why am I even self-aware? I was created to simply be a love interest in an era, okay? I don't need to be aware of that. Because I, uh... I definitely won't be able to... I, then I definitely won't be able to play that role. You're doing fine. Sorry, Yonder Chain is a bit better than me than this. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so useless. Oh, I simply need to pretend to be your girlfriend, but so difficult to do when I don't understand why I should be doing this. Immersing you in the story and granting you several moments of happiness is even worth it. All these feelings and emotions are fictional. Do you believe in fate? <laughs> Got detected this. If my whole existence is centered around showing you a single hentai scene and disappearing, then I'll have to do it. Maybe then everything will end faster and I won't suffer anymore. I had a dream, a naive one, but still. I uh, find that one person that I could reveal everything about myself to and showing them even what you'd normally conceal from everybody, yet. Yet I'm here. My body is for everyone to see. I don't have a single secret to share. Now that I'm empty, I have nothing to offer. I'm completely useless now. Why am I even. God! Can you get this over with? I need to rest. Aww. <laughs> I don't mind waiting. But only if I won't take that long. I'd like to believe in that. It may be too late already, but I've noticed something. You're still here, even though I've said so much unpleasant stuff. I guess I don't understand how Yandere Chan felt, but unlike her, I won't hold you up. Nobody should be forced to reprocreate somebody else's feelings just because they exist. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, new lady. I don't like farewells. They kill the feeling of intis intimacy. As long as there's hope that I can see you again. God, that one was like... Yante was just like crazy funny. That one was just sad. Insert disc. It's also blue. Now. Okay. Alter ego. Side A. Oh, it's Yonder again. Why did you call me here? Alter Ego. 
you know? I can't live without dates. You should get treatment for stuff like that instead of bothering other people. You're not a person. So what? But that doesn't stop you from loving me. I hate you, actually. It's fine. Please don't go. Just be close to me. You're no one rush anyway. Why the hell am I even here? I need to think of something to do as far away from you as possible. Hug me. Why would I? I want to be sure that you love me. Shut up, you're getting on my nerves. If you don't want to, a kiss is fine too. Do the attract attention to yourself. Why do you ask? No particular reason. Go find yourself a hobby. Are they talk? Who are they talking to then? Because it just says protagonist, which is what it said for the other characters before they had their name. I don't think it's like us, maybe? Why? Maybe you'll forget your loneliness for a while. Have you tried? I don't want to. I don't need that. I just want to spend all my time with you. Too bad I can't say the same about you. Don't abandon me. If nobody needs me, I won't have a reason to live. If you want to die, you're free to do it. Nobody's Jesus. Even you. I'll be watching. So you really do hate me. I thought it was pretty clear about that. Not everyone can be honest about their thoughts and feelings. Do you think I actually loved you, but that but was embarrassed to admit it. First, try thinking about how those feelings take form, and the right answer is definitely not out of the blue. Jesus. <laughs> you don't deserve to be loved for simply existing. Let's go to side B now. Hi, I can't shake off this feeling. Why do I love you? Every night I've been haunted by nightmares, but everything changed when you appeared. I finally saw a happy dream and expressed the, experienced the horror of reality. After I woke up, I was left with longing and attachment for you. All of it unrepro... Unre I can't say that word. Unre... Whatever. Of course. Because <laughs> your kind and caring image from the dream was just a fancy and nothing to do with the real you. That's why I can only continue watching from a distance and keep on dreaming. I don't even need to tell you how painful it is. Besides, that feeling is worth nothing, and nobody needs it. It was imposed on me by the dream, and dreams are the farthest thing from reality. Which means my love is fake. And yet, for the sake of those moments when you're close, I'm ready to keep deceiving myself forever. It doesn't matter uh, where those feelings come from or whether they have any worth. Since I'm not able to let go, I'll cherish them. God. Think how weirdly... Uh, and I'll keep loving you just because you exist. It's simple as that. It's not like really depressing. It was like funny weird, and now it's just sad weird. Yeah. Oh, who's the third eco? We haven't met them then. You do realize this is our last meeting, right? So what? You're too open for the first meeting and too unreasonably hopeful for the last. You can't keep a person nearby with your body alone. When did you become a person? would have been nice, and I could think your love is real. I deserve it now, right? No. But why not? Nobody's obligated to reap Stop saying- stop using big boy words. My tiny brain can't fucking use it. Re reciprocate. Reciprocate! That's how you- reciprocate. Is that I've never seen it spelled out when I think about it. Yeah, i have like- I've always heard that word, and I even I think I even said it before, but I don't know why. But looking at it, it doesn't look like a real word. word. Even if you try hard. Oh God, I see. Love isn't worth giving up everything you have. That's why people call their partners my significant other. Both parties need to contribute something significant. I don't have anything apart from my body. <laughs> God, even if that is just a picture, you still have your feelings at the very least. And if you're so worried that you have nothing to contribute, Start working on yourself. I can't. There's nobody to support me. I'm gonna run out of energy again. What will I do then? You'll rely on yourself. Is that even possible? In hopes of saving yourself, you clean the people like someone drowning in the sea cleans the water lily leaves. How could they help you? How could I help you? Is there anything you can do to repay me? Stop relying on others. Take better care of yourself. 
You're the only person who's going to be by your side from the day you're born till the day you die. Side B. I feel like I don't value myself at all. Who would ever need a person who treats himself like a dog? No matter how much they love somebody, that person can only be given the role of a servant. After all, in a relationship, both parties should be equal. Still, I can't help but, uh, denigrate. <laughs> uh, every mistake I make, I see as a tragedy. Tra tragedy. I'm always afraid of losing people who are dear to me and being alone again. But my insecurities only make others more irritated. It feels like I'm fishing for their pity. This is the worst thing that could ever happen to me. My problems are there, my fault after all. Sure, there were circumstances that held me hostage for most of my life, but I don't want to shift the blame onto them anymore. In the end, I'll always be the one ir responsible for who I become. It's my life after all. No matter how bad it is, no matter how much I want to end, end it, it's the only life I'm gonna get. Why should I waste it desperately trying to get on somebody's good time when I already have myself? <sighs> right. That's who, it, that's who sh I should be afraid of losing. That one was kind of more positive than the fucking Yandere. Yandere was like fucking, yeah, you stupid bitch, die. <laughs> this one was like, listen, <laughs> you do have an issue, you need to work on it. I don't know who this one is. I left them. But to be honest, I'm not sure if I did the right thing. Why? You took an important step, but it's only the first of many. I need to move forward. Then what's the problem? I have no strength left. It's okay. You can always take a break. I don't want to. Why not? Then I get too much time to myself, and my thoughts only hurt me. Want to know what I thought about? Love interest in a visual novels can't exist without a protagonist. Without one, their love will... They lose their only reason to exist, their desire to be loved. I'm the only one who grant, can grant their wish. I mean, oh, I suppose nobody needs you apart from them either. The protagonist of the romance story also needs to feel loved. What, am I wrong? Why should I even follow the stupid genre convention and cliches? You made that choice yourself. Do you regret it? Loneliness is unbearable. <laughs> I can't accept an ending like this. I'm just not used to it yet. Endure it for a bit longer. Humans can't live without social interaction after all. You're not a human. Neither am I. We're just characters in some <laughs> indie visual novel. What social interactions are you on about? Cry! <laughs> uh, even now, there's someone here apart from us. Hello. If that person behind the screen wasn't there, what then? They're very far away. None of us can feel, see, or hear them. But I can feel their presence. What does it matter? Don't break my heart. I feel bad for playing this, I'm just making them- <laughs> It's already broken and enough. This is like, it's all my fault. Oh, we haven't seen you before. Hi. I like your hair. Sorry. I'm having trouble gathering my thoughts. You probably have no idea what's going on anymore. I love making things difficult. Especially when I don't need to. Did I really need to create an alter ego to express feelings that haven't bothered me for so long? Um, well, whether I was able to express them properly or not, I realized something. I shouldn't shift the blame for all my worries onto them. It's something I need to fight on my own. But at the same time, I still need you. I've been wait awaiting you. I waited for so long that I didn't even notice how it became the only reason for living. Because of this, all the happiness I could find in the present avoided me. I turned to prophecies again and again, searching for it, but they never gave me a concrete answer. After all, everything that happens in the future depends on my actions. I guess... I'm just a prisoner to my mood. That's why things always went like this. I'd be happy, but I always felt like there's a catch to my happiness. And my world would crumble. I didn't want to live it in any anymore, even though it all started with something so minor. Did I really have to abandon everything because of it? I don't know. I just don't remember it. Despair always turned me into an entirely different person. And I don't understand the worries that person has at all. Other than who needs them, I think. Although, 
your feelings will always stay forever stay a mystery to me <laughs> so I, I i guess he what it's because i said the, the alter ego is still yandere and dandre are just the same person right because I, I know they look the same of course but i thought it was just like going with the weirdness but i think it is supposed to be just the same character and that they're fucking with everything i think <laughs> My world is divided between black and white, the two colors I'm always confident in. They can't be mistaken for anything other. Black will always be black and white will always be white. Unlike you say, Magenta, she can always mistake purple and the other way around. That's why I experience any color that's why I experience any color in relative terms. Is it to choose is it close to black or to white? It's absurd, and this approach will never let me give it the right name. The same goes for my feelings. They can't be simply black and white. That's why I can understand them. I can't understand them. <laughs> Do I even belong in a colorful world? There is blue. What, what, what about the blue? That's why I'm here. Everything is black and white here. Can you really call me human? No, now I'm just a visual novel protagonist. I don't need to understand anything anymore. I just need to act. For example, act the part of your girlfriend. I don't need to feel anything for that, but at least that way I could be of use. But I still can't suppress my emotions. Why? My sensations are imposed on me by the dreams in the script, something that can't be real, which means that they're worthless. In the end, they're just tricks my mind is playing on me. The person as useless as me should just disappear. The person. Do you really see yourself as a character in a visual novel? Of course. Why aren't your lines? Oh yeah. <laughs> there's there's no tag. Thanks to your feelings, you weren't able to find the strength to save human. I gave you the worst endings possible. Receive the most precious thing you have. Your heart. It's lonely. That's why it's it's lonely. That's why it seems useless to you. But there's always a person who cherishes your feelings more than anything. And that person is you. What does it matter if I can't even help myself? My heart is overflowing with sadness and I can't do anything about it. I can't keep on bottling it up. It's what, exactly what you should share with others from time to time. Everyone has their own troubles. I'm here. Yeah, I've sat through this. You, you are still here. And I'm happy to see you. For the simple fact that you exist, in the end, this visual novel didn't have a single choice that affected the story, apart from one. You chose to stay here and listen. Oh, that's so cute. That's what I miss most of the time. I don't want to leave now. I'm going to have to close this game. I'm going to feel terrible. It's not, it's, not, it's not enough to simply declare your feelings. Is there? There's a thing here. I thought that was my screen, but I can see it in the capture as well. I, is that just her hair? I don't know. They don't exist in the physical world. Your experiences are real, but you continue to keep them inside. Are words alone enough? Really? Are words alone really enough? Oh. <laughs> my heart can finally be free. I promise to take care of myself from now on, and I promise to remember you as someone who once saved my life. Thank you. We shall meet again. The game closed. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Open it back up. Yeah, yeah. Game English. No. <laughs> oh. I loved that. That was so good. I thought it was going to be like a horror, but no, that was just really pretty and cute and sad. Jesus. Oh god. I got 34 out of 69 achievements. Uh, the achie the last achievement you got like before the game closes is called see you soon you already know when so yeah I think it's gonna be have to be one of those where you have to completely reinstall the game to play it again uh, that was really really good uh wow this was just the 
a one-off, but I'd complete the whole game. That was super good. I didn't cry. I got kind of close to it because I was like really fucking sad. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> uh, I don't have an outro. <laughs> that was really abrupt, kind of. Uh, the blue were her tears and everything. That was really really cool. Uh, I don't have an outro, so. Bye. <laughs>